Hello and welcome. So you, the last video you saw was my um, <sighs> Sally tutorial. Today I'm gonna do a declutter. I have a lot of makeup. You see that thing behind me right there? That thing is full of makeup, or it was until I pulled it all out and put it all over here. Here's my wine. Um, yeah, so that entire thing was full. The top drawer is highlighters, the middle drawer is blushes, the bottom drawer was eyeshadow palettes, and I also have more on my desk. <sighs> These are also all palettes, and then I have in this drawer, I have blush and highlighter and whatever, so we're gonna go through it today. I'm actually gonna go with my husband, we're gonna go for our anniversary dinner. It's actually, our anniversary, our marriage anniversary is actually tomorrow. But we're gonna go tonight so we can have fun and not worry about the time and whatever. Anything I declutter, I'm gonna give away. I don't like putting things on Poshmark. I think it's ridiculous. I'm not gonna pay for someone else's used makeup. If they wanna give it to me and we're friends, that's cool. But I'm not buying anything used from anyone. Anyway, so if you want any of this, um, if we're friends, please just message me. Or even if we're not friends, be like, hey, I want some of that. Can you send it my way? And we might be able to make that happen. Let's get started because there's going to be a lot. Okay. This one I actually got from a coworker. Um, she said, oh, I never use it, but it's actually really old and I haven't used it. It's the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. And it's pretty. It's just kind of lackluster for me. I like a lot of color and this is just not something I'm going to use. So I'm going to declutter this. One. Okay. Uh, I don't even know where to start. I'm like so all over the place. My Jeffree Star palettes are not going anywhere. Let me just say that real quick. So this is the, which one's this called? This is Bloodlust. It's the velvet purple one. And it's hard to store, but I don't care. I love it. It's not going anywhere. That is staying. So I'm gonna have a key pile on my left, declutter on the right. I also have a bag that I'm gonna put this stuff in for anyone that wants to have it. Um, okay, let's do a blush. I'm just trying to, whatever. So this is by BH Cosmetics. It's the Chocolate Cherry Truffle. And these are really pretty. Like, look at how pretty that blush palette is. It's so pretty. Um, this one, I tend not to use that much because it doesn't have a lot of orange shades. I really like orange blush. So I think I'll declutter this one. I have one that I do like, if I can find it. The Vanilla Peach Truffle. This one's a little lighter for my skin tone and it has more like orangey tones. Like the two on this side are orange, then those two are pink. And I love the packaging, it's so cute. So that's staying. This is from my sister. She gave it to me, the Garden Variety Palette. I got it for Christmas. I don't use this a lot, but I think once I declutter some stuff, I will keep it because it's so pretty. And my sister gave it to me, so that's staying. Um, let me get my Jeffrey's palettes out of the way because they're also going to stay. This is my Conspiracy palette. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. It's so fun. It was in collaboration with Shane Dawson, if you know who he is. Um, it's more of a neutral palette, but I do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep this one. I got that in a mystery box, I think. My husband bought me Blue Blood. This was the first palette he bought me, and he's bought me a lot of shit, okay? But this was the first one he bought me, and I absolutely love it. There's a giant cat print right there from my cat Jack stepping in it, but I love this palette so much it's not going anywhere. Okay, I was like, I was like, the big Jeffree palettes are definitely staying. I think I'm gonna keep all of them, honestly, but this is Blood Sugar, if you've never seen this one. My best friend Savannah got me this for Christmas one year, and I absolutely love it. I use it all the time. It's got pinks and purples and gold and red, and I love it. So, staying. Jawbreaker. I got this in a mystery box and I was really happy about it because it is so colorful and I love colorful eyeshadow. Um, you can tell I've used the absolute shit out of this and I love it. So that's staying. Let's do a declutter now. Um, this one is really being decluttered. I got it for Christmas from a friend of mine because I asked for it and then I realized it's way too dark for me. It just is. It's by Fenty, Be Fenty Beauty. The only like three shades I can use are like this one, that one, and the middle shade. Um, I'm actually gonna give this to my friend Bailey unless someone else grabs it first because she's darker than me. She's like my only black friend. So she can have this because it'll look really nice on her. <sighs> okay, 
This L'Oreal I bought for a video, actually. It was a mix and match, and I used it as contour, and it works okay for that. It's just not my favorite. Um, it also doesn't fit nicely in my drawer in front of me, which has all my other stuff, so this is gonna go. All right, let's do palettes first. I was trying to do other stuff, but there's just so much on here I need to get rid of. So, ColourPop. This is absolutely staying. I made it myself. Um, it's got beautiful colors. I love to wear the glitter. Um, I made it myself on their website, just colourpop.com, and I picked all these shades and put them together in this cute little palette. So that's staying. Alcohol. So I have this sugar, peach, wet and dry face and eye palette. This is definitely staying. Like, look at how gorgeous it is. I love the oranges. It's super cute. I use this a lot. I really enjoy this, so this is staying. Ooh, okay. One of the cats has jumped onto my table. Which one are you? Oh, that's Harry. That's one of the new ones. He looks like Sylvia, but he's a little bigger. This I'm also going to give to my friend um, Bailey if she wants it. This is Bella Afrique Blush by Juvia's Place, and it's super pretty. And I thought, oh, it's orange. It'll look good on me. It's way too dark. Like, I thought... Oh, this will be fine. I like orange blushes, but it's just, it's too dark for me. It doesn't look good on my skin. So I'm going to give that to her. And it sucks because I really do like Juvia's Place products. It's just that one was way too dark. And I bought it because it was on sale naturally. And it was, it was too, too much. And my cellar water for any swatches. Okay. This one, the Tarte's Pro Glow and Blush. This is so pretty. And I do use it. I do enjoy it. This is staying. I'm not going to get rid of anything just for the sake of getting rid of it. It's just clearing out what I'm not using and what I don't like as much. Um, like this one. This is way too old. I need to just throw this away. I've used it in a couple tutorials, like sex night tutorials, because it's easy and it's fun. But I have some palettes that I can, you know, ch exchange this for. This is just super old. I've had this probably... I don't know, eight years or something. Like, it's stupid. Like, this needs to go in the garbage, but it's really pretty. And they still sell it. Goodbye. Um, let's go to uh, highlighter. This is the Skin Frost Peach Goddess. I've had this for a long time, too, but I don't care because I love it. And I have a giant pan in there. I use this all the time. Peach Goddess, upside down. Peach Goddess by Jeffrey. Keeping. Love, love, love. I'm actually keeping both of these too. I have the Mystery Frost, which was one of his mystery boxes. If I can open it. I have a big pan in that one too. It's really pretty. It looks orange, like when you look at it in the pan, but it's actually this really pretty gold color. And it's absolutely staying. I love Jeffrey highlighters. This is Ice Cold. Boop, trying to figure out my life. This one has a nice dent in it too. I haven't used as much of it as the other two, but I do really enjoy it, so that's staying. This Annette 69 Beauty Creations, I got it at one of those like little pop-up beauty things and it's fine. It's just not my favorite. Like it does look nice on your skin. It's just I have so many gold highlighters that I like better. So this one's gonna go. Need some more wine, that's tiring. I might have to split this up because I have a lot more makeup now that I have it like in front of me than I thought I did. Um, here's another declutter. It's by Flower Beauty, this shimmer and strobe highlighting palette. Again, it's nice. It's just a little more subtle than I like. And there was a brush in here, but I don't use it, so I tossed it, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they're pretty and they're nice. They're just too subtle, so not for me. What else? What else? What else? Oh, this one. Again, I bought this and it's way too, it's way too dark. It just is. And Becca is no longer a thing. Not that it matters because I'm not like a big YouTuber or anything. Um, it is really pretty though. It's just a little too dark on me. Like the only colors I can really use is the center and like this gold. The rest are too dark, but it's really pretty. So I'm going to give that away. This isn't going anywhere. This was in another mystery box. This is Peppermint Frost by um, Jeffrey. And I love it. Like, look at how pretty that is. That middle one is everything, and so is this ugly sweater. The chocolate ice is kind of, it's too dark for me, but the other two work great. So this is staying. You can't take it from me. Like, I think I'm doing pretty good. I've gotten rid of a decent amount. Oh, fuck. I'm like, I'm looking at my palettes over here, and I'm just like, God, I don't want to do this. I love eyeshadow, and I'm like stressing already. Okay. 
I have these little baby ones from e.l.f. The green one is Bite Size Eyeshadow Hot Jalapeno. And this is really pretty. Like, do not think that just because it's like $3 that it's not pretty, because it is. It's just, I already have a lot of green eyeshadow. Oh, I have a palette I haven't showed you yet. And I have a lot of blues for my Blue Blood palette. So this one's gonna go. Again, not that it's not good because it is. It's just, I have a lot of eyeshadow. So that can go. Okay, let me move this pa palette tower. Okay, Jesus. Okay, I also have the blood money. How many times am I gonna say okay in this video? This is blood money. This is absolutely gorgeous. My husband bought it for me because of course he did. And just look at that. Like this is why I don't need this. Like the colors you could pretty much dupe exactly from the, um, so if you can't afford the Jeffrey one, here's the elf one. And it works really, really, really good. I promise you. It's just not, I don't need it. Okay. So declutter. Okay. This is so good. Like, I don't know why people don't talk about this. This is the BH Cosmetics 9 Pan something Duo Light Highlight. These are absolutely gorgeous. Like, let me swatch this gold for you. Like, how beautiful is that? Like, this is worth every penny, and I think I spent $9 on it. It's beautiful. It's staying. I don't know why I'm so aggressive, but I'm like, no, you're not taking it from me. It's mine and it's beautiful. Okay. I also have found a new micellar water that is cruelty free. I was very excited. It's by Urban Hydration, it looks like. And it's peach and papaya micellar water, so it smells good. Oh, excuse me. Let me just put in a primer real quick. So this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I've used a lot of it. Oh shit, sorry. This is glass underneath, so my bad. Um, I've used a lot of it and I thought I really liked it, but I find that it's actually peeling makeup off of my face because I've been using this one, which is definitely not going anywhere. My Smashbox primer water I bought from a recommendation off YouTube, and this is everything. I love this, especially if you have dry skin, this is gonna save your life. This, I no longer like because I found this. I also use the Urban Decay All Nighter and I've used a good portion of it too. I really like this. So this one's gonna go. Yeah. I was like, I'm just kind of jumping around here. Sorry, but I'm just kind of thinking like, okay, what do I need? What do I not need? So this is the Juvia's Place concealer I used in my last video. It's just too light for me. I used it and it made me look dead, which was the purpose. But if I want to wear it on a regular basis, it's not It's not it. Um, I might give this to my friend Brie because she's lighter than I am. This is too dark or too light for me. Goodbye. Okay. This is the Thirsty palette by Jeffree Star and I already said I'm not getting rid of Jeffree Star because if I were to get rid of a Jeffree Star, it'd probably be this one, but it's not gonna happen. It's just not. <laughs> I was like, my husband loves to buy me Jeffree Star. I love getting Jeffree Star. It's not going anywhere and I don't care what people have to say about him. I love his makeup and if you don't know who he is, Google him because he's absolutely gorgeous and he makes amazing makeup. Okay. The Masquerade by Juvia's. I have had this for a very long time and it's beautiful. I just don't use it. I don't think the quality is as good as some of my other palettes. So I'm gonna give this to somebody who will enjoy it. This one, Jaclyn Hill, which I don't even like Jaclyn Hill. I think she's stupid, but it's okay. I just wanted to try these palettes because I think they're so pretty and they are. So this one is, you know, a green and silver. Oh, I'm like, do I really need it? Yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm like, don't talk yourself out of shit you want. Just keep it. I also have another one by her. It's called Armed and Gorgeous. And it's by Morphe too. I don't know if I said that. This one's really pretty. It's got a lot of oranges in it and I love orange eyeshadow. It's got greens, golds, keeping. This one I got from that Beauty Creations Tease Me. And it's cute. I tried it. It's not bad. It's really not. It's pretty decent for like an $8 palette. It's just not my thing. I have enough neutral eyeshadow. This has got to go. Speaking of got to go, I have had this palette way too long. Like it doesn't even work the same as it used to. I'm probably going to keep the brush though because sorry whoever is going to get this palette or I'm sorry I'm going to throw it away. 
So I've had this palette a long time. You can see I hit pan in four of the shades and it's beautiful. It's just way too old. Like when I try to use it now, it just like blends into nothing. So this is going in the garbage. Oh, it hurts my heart, but it needs to be done. You know what? There's one Jeffree Star palette I'm going to give away and it's because it has, it was one of the ones I got in the mystery box and one of the shades is shattered, by the way. I'm going to get rid of the... Actually, I might keep it in there. Someone might want to use it. I don't know. But I got these out of a mystery box. Like, it came with the singles, which is a great idea. But I already have so many of his palettes. I don't need singles. And these are probably repeat shades that I have already. So I'm just going to give this away. Someone can use the Z palette and the eyeshadow in it. This is my Burn Book by Storybook Cosmetics. And it's probably a little too old. But even if I can't use it, I will display it. Because it's beautiful and it's not going anywhere. Like, who would want to get rid of this? Mean Girls is one of my favorite movies. And just look at this packaging. It's just stunning. And yeah, if I can't use it, I even have the sleeve for it. If I can't use it because it's bad or whatever, I'll just display it because I really like it. I still use it and I've had it for a long time. This is Venus, Venus XL by Lime Crime. This one's a little harder to use. Like, this is definitely not like a beginner friendly palette, but I really like the colors. The thing is, the the shimmers aren't really shimmery. Like they're it's basically a palette of mattes. So I am gonna keep it. I do like it. I'm just saying, like don't buy it thinking that the shimmers are great because they're not. It's just use them as a matte. Oh, it's so much cleaner already. <laughs> okay, Floral Bloom Highlight and Contour by Beauty Creations. I bought this from one of those. Um, events and it, it's good it really is it's just i have so much makeup that i prefer so i'm gonna give this away i'm doing way better than i thought i was going to i think filming it is like making me get rid of stuff i'm like lisa you haven't used it get rid of it and it's making me feel better so this is the Too faced natural face palette this is not going anywhere i love this when i travel i use this a lot because you've got the two bronzers two blushes and two highlights and it's stunning and it smells like cocoa, so not going anywhere. Keeping. This is the Merc Mercury Retrograde Palette by Huda Beauty and I just love it. It's so pretty. And this is my only Huda Beauty palette, <laughs> like words, but it's gorgeous. It's not going anywhere. Love, 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 love. Keep. Highly recommend. This is by Jeffree Star. It's actually a highlighter palette, but I use most of them as blushes because they're really like, they're bright as you see. Like this shade as a highlighter uh, or as a blush is really pretty. This is the only one I actually use as a highlighter, but it's so pretty keeping me and my bestie match with that one. I have the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit and it's really pretty. It's just super dusty and like I've used it a couple times because my husband has picked it out for me. It's just not my favorite. It's got to go. Her glow palette, however, the glow kit, the sugar glow kit, this one's staying. I like this one. Um, it's a lot less, you know, powdery, so I enjoy this one a lot better. Next, I have the Sofax palette, and I don't really think I need it, if I'm being honest. Like, it's by um, Revolution, and I bought it, I think, for a video, and it's cute. It's just... I'd rather give it to somebody else, you know? I'm like, I have a shitload of makeup. Like, I do not need this much makeup. But I gotta be, you know, up front with myself. And like, when I'm looking in my palette drawer, that's not something I pick up. This one, however, again, not going anywhere. It's Northern Lights by Jeffree Star. It's one of the, th this, I think my husband got me this and my blood, no, blue blood palette at the same time. <sighs> it's a little powdery, but it's so pretty, I don't care. Like, look at those. These are, what oh, doesn't it say? These are the Supreme Frosts, which are actually different than his um, skin frosts that I have. So they're actually a different formula altogether, but they're so gorgeous and I'm keeping it. You can't take Jeffree Star from me, you just can't. Like, I don't care if it's expired, I'm probably gonna keep it anyway, because I love it. The thing I will get rid of though is the lipsticks because I have a lot that are probably expired, they're old. And I have this. My best friend got me this and it's super cute. You can take the blush, ugh, it's magnetic, and you can take the blush out of the little thing and make it a clutch. And it's really cute. It's just in reality, it doesn't even fit my phone. 
or it like only fits my phone, you know? Like it's not something I'm gonna go out with even though it's hella cute. So I'm just gonna give it away. And a lot of these are matte blushes. And I don't really use matte blush. I really like shimmery blush. So this is just not something I'm gonna use very often. Like I loved it when I used it. It's just, again, I'm learning my own preferences and I really just don't like matte blush. Speaking of, let's pull all these trays out and go through them. So I have a ton of shit in here. So if you're already like, girl, this is too much, you come back, you pause it, you come back and we'll go through it together. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, this is so overwhelming. Like I have so much makeup, this is stupid. I also have an entire drawer of just like hair bands and like bobby pins and stuff because I use them all the time. Okay, Lisa, let's do this. Okay, I see two I can get rid of right away. I have this e.l.f. lipstick. I bought it for a um, like get ready with me at Dollar Tree video and it's a pretty color if you use it as blush. Like I would not put that on my lip. But like look how pretty that is as a blush shade and you blend it out. It's just I have a hundred million blushes. I don't need this. Same with this LA Colors one. It's okay, it's cute. It was a dollar at the Dollar Tree and it works fine. Um, again, just not my thing. Like, especially if you're someone that doesn't have a lot of makeup, you'd be thrilled to have this. I just have way too much, so I don't need either one of those. Let me get rid of that swatch before I get it on everything. Hi, PR. We got one of the cats back here, so if you hear him, that's why. Okay, let's see. I have this Milani Ludicrous Lights. I bought it on sale at Ulta. It's okay. It looks better. Like, it's okay. It's iridescent. It just doesn't have as much pigment as I like, but for someone that likes a subtle blush and just want, or you could use it as blush too, but if you want like a subtle purple highlighter, this would be your jam. It's just not for me. If I'm going to go purple, I'm going to go purple, you know, like I want this by Jeffree Star. This is a good segue because this is gorgeous. It's called Choking on Ice. It's an extreme frost. And this is like the kind of purple I'm gonna go for if I'm gonna wear a purple highlighter. So I'm gonna keep that. I have this blush that I got from a BoxyCharm forever ago and it's really pretty. Again, I just don't use it because I like shimmery blushes and I'm finding that out. So this is Make Them Blush by, um, who are you? It did say pretty vulgar, but now it's all washed off, but it's really pretty. It's not my thing. I'm gonna say that about a hundred more times. I'm gonna get, both, get rid of both of these, the NYX Sweet Cheeks. They're matte. This one is in Citrine Rose, if I could open the damn thing. Nope, can't open it, not breaking my nails. This is Citrine Rose, and this is Red Riot. Again, pretty, just not using them. Oh, here's another one. This is a pink one called Hypnotic Lights by Milani, and it's just too, too light for me. I like pigment, I want like, I don't want to have to dig in my highlighter to get it to show up. Goodbye. What else, what else, what else? I have so much shit in here, it's insane. Both of these can go right off the bat. I've got a Cat Beauty Baked Highlighter. It's fine. It's just not, not it for me. And same with this Hello Halo by Wet n Wild. I thought, oh, it's a... Half blush, half highlighter, I'll use it, but I have so much other shit, I don't need this. Goodbye. One good Wet n Wild one though is this one. It's called To Reflect. And first of all, it's like cheetah and it's super cool, but it actually looks really nice. It's a nice gold, so I'm keeping that. Keeping this by ABH. This is Iced Out. Like this is a really nice white gold highlighter keeping. I have these Kylie blushes that I bought when they were on sale. And I think these are the ones with like bad chemicals or whatever, but all makeup has fucking chemicals in it. As long as you don't test on animals, I don't really care. So I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna keep the two highlighters too. I have Quartz, which is like an iced out gold. And I have Queen Drip, which is a little more, little more gold and less white. If I can get it, there we go. Pretty, keeping. I have a Becca highlighter here. I'm actually, I thought I was gonna keep it, but again, it's just not pigmented enough for me. It's more if you want a subtle highlighter, this is really nice. Like, eh, meh. 
Like it's very lackluster to me. I want you to be able to see me from space. So that is not it. Goodbye. Oh my God, I'm doing so much better than I expected. I really expected to like keep everything. So this is great. I'm keeping these by Jeffrey. Frozen Peach and Caramel Kiss. This is Caramel Kiss. And this is Frozen Peach. I use these a lot. I really like them. Not going anywhere. This I got in Spain. Whiny Illuminating Highlighter. And honestly, that trip was just so bad. I don't even want to look at this. So, goodbye. Definitely not everything was bad. It just was not what I wanted it to be. So, it's got to go. Um, let's see. I have this Pixie by Petra. And it's cute. Just not my thing. Got to go. This is absolutely staying. This is the Jeffrey. No, not Jeffrey. This is Juvia's place. And as you can see, it said Juvia's in there, but I've used so much of it, it's gone. This is like, this. they still sell this. And this is like the most pigmented highlighter. Like this is what I want my highlighter to look like on my face. I don't want highlighter you have to scrub and scrub and scrub and like scrape the top off to get anything. I'm not into that. I want pigment and I want it now. So that's what I'm keeping. Um, this I'm keeping, oh, it's a Jeffrey highlighter lipstick but i use it as a highlighter and i dab this on on and then on top i put one of these because it helps you know make it more intense so i'm definitely keeping that i do enjoy that very much i have a melt cosmetics blush it's like half blush half highlighter i use it as blush i love it staying fenty beauty i got this in new york mean money and hustle baby i get the melt one in new york too when um who was it? Not American. Southwest lost our bag. And so I was like, I am not going to a Broadway show without makeup on. So I went to Sephora and I bought some makeup. Sorry. <laughs> this is Mean Money and Hustler Baby. And they're staying. So good. These are staying. I'm like trying to organize, at least kind of, put what I'm keeping. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I think I just need to toss it though because it's kind of drying out. Let me see. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm tripping. No, it's fine. I'm keeping it. It's lunch money. And this one is a little more subtle, but you can definitely build it up. Yes, queen. Um, I love this. This formula is so creamy and smooth and I really, really enjoy it. So I'm keeping that. My cat is now laying on my declutter pile. One of them. My dog is laying on the other side of me. I gotta show you this because it's really cute. Let me see. Floof, what are you doing? Jack! Oh, you're so gorgeous. Anyway, sorry if you're not here for cats or if you don't like cats, this is the wrong channel because I've got six of them. Um, I don't know if I showed this. I don't think I did. Ofra, this is Snuggle Up. I don't use it. But I should, so I'm gonna keep it. I still have way too much makeup. I know that, but I don't care. So I'm keeping that one. These are very similar, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. This is Guilty Pleasure by ColourPop. It's very similar to Lunch Money, but they're not quite the same. Lunch Money's a little lighter. I'm gonna keep it. Don't judge me. This one is called Pocket Science. It's a purple. Again, really pretty, keeping. I have another one, Flexitarian. Oh, I love these, I need to use them. This one I just used the other day. This is Laura Geller in Charming Pink, keeping. And this is my Too Faced highlighter that looks like a diamond, it's called Diamond Fire. Like, look at that box, how cute is that? Yes, queen, keeping. Okay, I have way more highlighter than I do blush. Like, way more, it's, it's kind of scary, honestly, how much highlighter I have. I'm like, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get all these in a container, but let's do blush real quick. This is my favorite blush, and that's why it's a damn mess. Like, look at the back of it, there's like blush everywhere. This is called Tasty, and it's just so pretty. And you can see it's like cracked, and there's holes in it because I use it all the time. It's that super shop formula. This one I'm gonna get rid of by ColourPop Land. I thought it would be the same, and it's just not. It's not the same quality, so I'm gonna get rid of this. It's called Jolly. Um, I liked the color, but again, it's a matte blush, so this is leaving. It's really pretty though. It's called So Flushed, and I love orange blushes. It's just not gonna work. 
And this is Just Blushing by LA Girl. It's actually not bad, just not my thing. How many times am I gonna say that? Okay, what else? I have all these NARS and I really like these. And NARS tests on animals, so I don't buy them. Um, I got these at TJ Maxx before I found out that they test on animals. This is Oasis, very pretty. Just don't buy from them. Orgasm X, again, very pretty. It's like shimmery. And this is just regular or, no, this is Outlaw. I was gonna say Orgasm, but it's not. This is Outlaw. And they're all shimmery. I like all three of them. They're staying. This is by Cover FX and it's a damn mess. So let me just clean that off. Sorry, I don't know why that's so ugly. I don't know what happened, but I must have had blush explode in there. Um, cover FX, if I could open this. Okay, this is really pretty. It's got a matte and a shimmer side. I mixed the matte with the shimmer because I like the shimmer better. That is staying. I have these beautiful Too Faced blushes. I think this one is like my melons. Keeping, I'm keeping all of these, I love these. This is Cherry Bomb, keeping, and this is Papaya Pop. There is one I'm gonna get rid of, and it's just because it's a mini, so it's really hard for me to use, so someone else can deal with it. It's called Apricot in the Act. It's so cute, and it is really nice. They smell good. I just don't need it, I have too many. This, my friend Savannah gave me, um, I just don't really use liquids. This is a liquid blush and it's very pigmented. It's by Touch and Soul and this is the color, it's gorgeous. Hey, who are you growling at, sir? Gotta stop the drama. I'm gonna donate this or, you know, put it in my giveaway. I don't need it. I have too many. Okay, keep, 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 keep. All right, what else? That's it out of that drawer. That's very exciting and it's gonna look so much better. Now that I have decluttered it, at least a little bit, I'm still gonna have some stuff that's not going to fit, unfortunately. Like in my drawer, it's going to be kind of just strewn about, but it looks so much better than it did. I think it's overflowing now, which is exciting. Maybe, maybe. There we no? What's wrong? Is this too many? Yeah, it's too many. That's annoying. Okay, what is going on? There we go. Something was getting caught in the drawer. Oh my God, these lipsticks. <laughs> this is gonna be like a whole thing. Ugh, okay. Um, again, I bought these when I was in Spain and it just was not a good experience. I don't wanna see this. These are cute, they're lip glosses. Nothing special, goodbye. I don't even think I've used them. So these glosses by Jeffree Star are absolutely amazing. I just don't know if I want this color because it's kind of nude, like real nude. Like, it's okay. I prefer like gloss gloss. What's this? Oh, I'm gonna get rid of this Kylie Jenner gloss. I don't like it as much as the other formula. I think I'm gonna keep the Jeffree too though. I have two from Jeffree here that they just don't have shimmer in them. So I'm gonna use them less than my shimmery ones but they're really pretty and they've got that beautiful top keeping. I never use this. This is Show Me Your Coconuts by Too Faced. I don't think I've used it in years. Goodbye, or however long I've had it, you know. Um, these are all really pretty. I love the NYX Butter Glosses. These are staying. I'm just gonna need another organizer for like a better way to display these, but I think once I declutter some stuff, I'll have more room. Okay. This is my Too Faced lipstick. You can't get this anymore, but I use this for sex. That's why there's like none left. Cause it, it's nice and it like smears everywhere in case you needed to know that. That's a good one. But I don't know if you can get it anymore. This is by NARS. This is warm leatherette and like, look at that color. It's gorgeous staying. Oh, where is it? I don't know where my lipstick is. I have a bunch in my purse and a bunch in my work bag that I need to deal with as well. Um, what else? I have this Lipland one. I never use it, goodbye. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag or something because it's like the one and only I have. So I don't need that. I have a lip liner. Again, lip liner's a waste of my time, goodbye. I have chapstick that I'm gonna put on right now. It's by Jesse Star. It's these adorable 
you know, bullet lipsticks. This is in the shade Cowboy Kiss. It's really cute and it works great. And you can see like the color was brown, but you can't really tell that it's a brown lip balm. I have these fun colors. I've got a purple by Dosa Colors that's staying. I've got this one by Jeffrey in Clout, which is like a super cool shimmery iridescent color. Like this is so cool. Ooh, why is that so dry? Is this, is this bad? I probably got that on my nose a little bit. Looks like it's a little dry feeling, but not too bad. I'm gonna keep it for now. See if I can mix it up a little better. This is by Fenty Beauty. It's their gloss in Fussy, and this is absolutely stunning. I love it. Love it. It's just really hard to fit in any of my like organizers. It doesn't really fit, so I have to make it special. Okay. I have way more cal calories. What? I have way more cat. Oh my god! I didn't even touch over here. <sighs> okay, Lisa, we're gonna get through it. So these melted mattes by Too Faced are like my favorite thing. I love them. I think they're so nice and they're beautiful and I love Jeffree lipsticks too but these are so good. Like here's Drop Dead Red. It's like a dark red. I can just smell these. Oh fuck. They're starting to smell a little chemically but I'm like this one smells like it used to so I think the Drop Dead Red is bad. I don't know, it's hard to tell because sometimes lipsticks smell chemically anyway. But some of them smell better than others, so I'm like. And I've used this one recently, the blood red or the bright red. This one smells okay. I think it's just this one. I must have had this for longer, so that's going in the garbage because it smells like chemicals. This one, bend and snap. That one smells okay. And Queen B. Oh, goodbye. Well, I got rid of a couple that needed to go in the garbage, so good news. All right, this is gonna be so hard. I'm like, I have so many colors. Like Christmas cookie is beautiful. It's not going anywhere. It smells good. This one is Cherry Wet. This is the newer one, I know that for sure. Um, what was the one I was wearing last night? So this one is old and I know it's old. It's designer blood and I wore it in my Sally video and it like, it's super dry. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's it's gotta go. I've had it too long and it smells bad. Or it doesn't smell bad, but you know what I mean? It's just, it's not the same. This one is in Masochist. That's fine. Cherry Wet is new. Mermaid blood I've had for a while. This one might be bad. Let's see. It's still got good pigment um, and it doesn't smell bad. So we're going to keep that. I don't have a ton of blue. Just, you know, if I could, like if we didn't have masks right now for work, I would wear like a blue lipstick every other day. Like I don't care what other people think. It's not about them. It's about me, but it's just, I got to make sure that these are okay, that I can wear them. This is allegedly, this one's pretty. It's fine. I'm not gonna wear this ever. Fudge pop, goodbye. I'm like I like my androgyny's old. Oh, I've had this a long time. It's still pigmented. Still smells okay. Doesn't matter if it's old, it smells okay. This one's new. Yeah, this one's fine. This is by it was the mystery one. It's in a mystery box. No tea, no shade. This one's a little dark. Let's see. Oh, this one's dry. Yeah, you can tell. So this is androgyny, the lighter one. And this is no tea, no shade. It's definitely old. Goodbye. Goodbye. I have a new little pad here. These makeup eraser things are amazing. Okay, so some of these minis are definitely old. Um, wifey, unfortunately, I probably need to buy a new one. This is like, oh, let's see. I'm like, this is my favorite one, but it's so dry. Look at that, goodbye. I better not dry lipsticks. Oh, that's so dry. Um, okay, what are you, red rum. This is a newer one, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, this one's dry too. Fluff, all my pretty reds, I'm going to having to throw away because they're so dry. I'm definitely gonna have to buy some more Jeffree Star lipsticks. To be fair, they have been sitting because of COVID, so I haven't gotten to war worn. I haven't gotten to wear any of these. Let's see. Oh, this one's okay. It's just not perfect. It's this pretty shade in Icy Baby, Ice Baby. We're just, just upset. <laughs> like I'm so upset. I'm like throwing away hundreds of dollars of makeup because I couldn't wear it. This is Jawbreaker. This one's fine. I have a mini Christmas cookie. I think this one's probably okay. I used to wear the shit out of this. Nope, too dry. Ah, oh, this sucks. Like, you can tell I've been needing to do this for a long time and I've just been putting it off and putting it off because it's not fun to throw out makeup, but when it's expired, you just don't have a choice. All of these blues came in the same um, package. There we go, words. Why does my skin look all blotchy? What the fuck is happening? Um, all the blues came in the same package, so I'm gonna keep those. Uh, watermelon soda. I feel like this one's new. Yeah, this one's good. Nah, I did it at a stupid angle, but th this one's fine. That one I can actually wear. Let's see. Unicorn blood, please be good. This one's kind of old though. It's probably dry. Yeah, this one's dry. Fuck, all my good friends are dry. That just means I have to go shopping. My husband's gonna be like, no, no, honey. Mm -mm. All right, let me dry my skin off now. Okay, this one, I just realized earlier I left out a whole thing of palettes right here that I have to go through still, but I'm almost done. Um, this one is good. This is prom night. Oh, this is Calabasas. This one better be good. I like this one. Yeah, that's fine. You can tell by how like, gloopy they are. This is Family Jewels. Oh, this one's dry. Doll Parts is fine. I like that one too. Anna Nicole. This is a really pretty orange. Like, this is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see. Make sure you... Ah, come on. See if I can mix it back together, maybe. Yeah, if you mix it... It's okay. This one's not as old. I don't think, anyway. Maybe I should start putting dates <laughs> like when I open stuff because then it'll be easier to be like, oh no, that's bad. This is Nathan. Oh, yep, that one's good. This is a nice like orange nude. Why do I keep swatching in stupid places? But this one's good. That one is good. I'm almost done, I swear. If you're like, girl, I can't, like I get it. This is Drug Lord. I just used this as an eyeliner and it's still good. So this was full. So I decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 shades. 10 of which were bad. <laughs> the other two I just didn't need, or the other one I didn't need. So now I can consolidate these. There we go. So now I have this whole thing is full instead of one and like a half so i can get rid of this i'm not going to need that much lipstick anytime soon and like i said i have products in my purse um or my work bag and obviously i'm gonna leave them there because i use them that's why they're there what's this oh i don't use this at all i forgot i had this this is my studio makeup it's a eyeshadow yeah cream eyeshadow i'm not gonna use this because i i don't use cream eyeshadow I don't really use cream products. I'm moving this because what I need is in here. I have this little drawer full of eyeshadows and I'm actually going to take them out of the drawer because I feel like I'll use them more. And I'm going to put them on my vanity actually with my palettes that I need to declutter right now. Okay, so I have these Be Bella cosmetics. Like I have Provoker and Nightlife. This is Nightlife. It's this really pretty purple. I bought this. Um, from that thing. I don't even know what to call it. It was like a market for cheaper makeup kind of thing. This is Provoker. It's so pretty. Um, these are so nice. I'm keeping them. I have two by ColourPop. Definitely keeping. And then I've got this one by Micah Beauty. It's this little blue. It's a blue, but I have enough blue. I don't need it. Goodbye. Okay. I almost just drank this again. What is wrong with me? Okay. Let's move some shit. Ah. Yeah. 
There's a lot of categories I didn't go over, but it's because I have like one or two things in each category, so there's no point. Like foundation, I use the same foundation every single day, so I don't have any titty clutter. I have the Naked Wild West palette. I got this in New York when they lost my bag, so that's staying. I have the Star Ranch palette, and honestly, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this because I have, you know, my my blood, my blue blood and my blood money, and I'm just gonna give it away. I've decided. I just gave away a Jeffree Star palette. You all should be really proud. Mini Breaker. This is staying. I love this. I use it all the time. I love the oranges and the purples. That's staying. I have Mini Controversy. That's staying. These are a little older. These ones could probably go. I have Element of Surprise. I don't use it very much. Goodbye. Sweet Talk is definitely staying. I love this. This is so gorgeous. Butter Me Up. Definitely staying. Cute AF. I've used this shade to death, but other than that, I haven't touched it in a while, so that's gotta go. Someone is gonna be so lucky. Like, the amount of makeup I am getting rid of is just ridiculous. So, this is Ooh La La by ColourPop. This is definitely staying. I love this. It's so pretty staying. Actually, you know what? I have all of these colors in my blood... blood? Not blood money. What's the other one? Blood sugar. I have all these colors in blood sugar. I'm gonna give this to somebody else. <sighs> okay. Norvina by Anastasia. I'm keeping this. I like this one. It's got some pretty purples. I don't use it a lot, but I do enjoy it. Chocolate Gold by Too Faced. I do like this. I don't use it a lot, but I like it. I'm keeping it. And this giant one by Too Faced. I think I might give this away. I don't use it a lot. Again, I have all these colors in my Jeffree palettes that I prefer, so this is gonna go. I cannot believe I'm doing this. I did not expect this. I have this by KKW, K, KW Beauty, like Kim Kardashian West, and normally I would not buy this, but it was on sale and I thought the colors were pretty, so I'm gonna keep it. This is pretty purpley gold moment. And it's good for like, just a quick, okay, I gotta do my eyeshadow and leave kind of thing. This one, eh, I don't wanna break that shadow, but you can kind of see, it's kind of broken, but it's okay. This is Soft Clam by Anastasia, that's staying. And then I have this Dose of Colors one that I never use, I'm gonna give it away. Um, it just makes me sad because my husband bought this for me when we first started dating and it's absolutely stunning. I just don't use it. I have too much makeup, goodbye. Oh, okay, so I've managed to declutter a shitload of makeup and way more than I thought I would. Um, I love makeup, I just don't have like an emotional attachment. If I'm not using it, why bother, you know? I'm just cleaning out the little container so I can put all my makeup back. Oh, I did so good, I'm so excited. So this is the declutter pile that somebody is going to get. Hold on, sorry, so I can see what's happening. Oh, close this. I'm sorry, this is a mess, but this is the declutter pile. It's gonna go in that bag. I'll probably get a bigger bag. And then this is the keep pile. Those, and of course all that. Yeah, I kept a lot, but don't judge me, okay? I got rid of way more than I expected to. And there we go. I'm trying to fix the camera. I don't know if you could see that I was flipping it. I don't know how that works. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.